there everyone and welcome back or if this is your first time watching welcome my name is Lisa and I'm so glad to have y'all here with me today we are starting with a blank slate we are gonna add some warm cozy and inviting Christmas decor here to my kitchen but first I wanted to share this picture I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I did not really care for the color of the frame, so I'm going to do a little quick touch up on it with this Waverly antiquing wax. Just take a wax brush and apply it to the frame. Let that dry really good. And then you're gonna take this rub and buff. I'm using the color Gold Leaf. And with my finger on a gloved hand, I'm just going to roughly apply it. There there is no right or wrong way to do this. You can add as much or as little as you like. I love the way my frame turned out. It is unique and one of a kind and it adds that vintage look to the wreath print here on it. So to anchor my little tree farm that I'm adding to this area, I have placed down a marble trivet and you can see I have a little collection that is an assortment of ceramic Christmas trees. I'm gonna add them here on the tray. This makes it easily movable if I need to as well. To soften all those harsh lines and edges, I'm adding a green stem and some holly berries. This oversized gold jingle bell got an upgrade. It did have just a burlap ribbon on here. I cut that off and then added this frayed vintage look velvet ribbon from Hobby Lobby. Made it look so different and very spectacular. And I always love to add a seasonal dish towel and my serving spoon here to my KitchenAid mixer, as well as these oversized cinnamon sticks that I got from Hobby Lobby. They are making my whole kitchen smell wonderful. I got this little mirror from Target Dollar Spot for $5 and I'm gonna use it to reflect my tree farm here. I think it makes this little vignette look very elegant and that's not something you typically expect to see in a kitchen. Little touch of magic. Moving just down my counter, I'm gonna set up my next countertop vignette here with this $10 Ross find. This is a marble book stand. And then building up a little arrangement here, I'm using this Bath & Body Works candle just to elevate this battery powered wax candle. I love these and if you've never used them, I think they are the absolute best thing you can invest in for your home decor. To conceal all of that inside the bowl I have this candle ring it is a faux cedar with these tiny little pine cones so delicate and cute instantly have a nice arrangement and it's safe to have this candle going all the time but for fragrance and ambience, I have this little deer. I got this from TJ Maxx and shared it with you in my haul. This 2002 Christmas gift good taste cookbook. I have used this since I got it back in 2002. It has some great recipes in here. So I reference it often at Christmas just to make it a little extra special and festive. I have this miniature seed napkin ring that looks like a tiny wreath and I've just tied on a white velvet ribbon. I purchased this new Keurig K Slim coffee maker. My husband and I are empty nesters and our other Keurig was very old and very big and bulky. It took up a lot of counter space. So I got this off of Amazon on one of their early Black Friday sales and got it half price. So I will link that down below, not affiliated, just in case you're interested. In my Goodwill thrift haul video, I shared all these brass pots and told y'all that I want to put my mini tiny Christmas trees in them to elevate them and give them a higher end look. I'm cutting off the fabric so it does not stick up out of the pot. And then I'm just using some green Spanish moss 
to tuck in and around the base of the tree to hide that inner working there and just make it look finished and professional. It is this little attention to detail that will elevate your home decor, not just at Christmas, but all year long. Now that I have this new coffee maker, I have a little more space here on my counter to set up a little miniature coffee bar. I don't require a lot for my coffee, but I do have these syrups in these decorative bottles from Amazon. And then I have my gold coffee spoons that make me feel very fancy, but they were very economical, as was the Santa mug. I got him at the Walmart dollar spot for $3. They also have them in a very pretty pink color. In recent decorating videos, I have been putting a little something behind my stovetop on the backsplash, but I wanted to switch it up this time, so I'm adding a wreath with some ribbon up here on my cabinet. I am putting it as close to the center, but so that the command hook is on one side of the cabinet door so that you can still open it and access what is inside. The top of my refrigerator is a place that I feel can be kind of dull and boring, so I am going to dress it up just a little bit. This is my Texas house garland. I got it last year at Walmart, end of clearance for like 75% off. It was, I think, $5. It was so cheap. So check those after season sales and get your decor, put them back for the next year. It is a surprise to open your uh, decor bins and find new decorations. This silver and gold deer got a little dressing up as well with one of those tiny miniature wreaths and some velvet ribbon. I'm making sure he is up here entwined in the garland so he's secure and won't fall or get tipped over when we're getting in and out of the refrigerator. That would be tragic. <laughs> A canister for mints and a little friend for our other reindeer and this finishes off the vignette on top of the refrigerator. Because this is a kitchen and it needs to be functional as well as pretty, I have this divided wicker basket. I'm going to use yet another one of those little napkin rings that looks like a miniature wreath. I'm just using an ornament hook to secure it here to the front of the basket. And then I have a little target arrangement that is miniature and perfect in size, as well as a couple of Santas that were actually ornaments. I just cut off the string hanger. I keep my supplements and vitamins in this basket so it serves a purpose concealing those everyday items that I use. I'm doing the same thing here with my dish scrubber and who else loves to put out new soap in different seasonal scents at the holidays? Cutting boards are a great way to anchor down your vignette and that's what I'm using here. I thrifted this little crock I love Mackenzie Childs and I love a good Christmas calendar countdown so I had to get this little deer. He is a great addition to my Mackenzie Childs collection. Another tiny tree goes in that crock and more Spanish moss and I Coming up, I have a quick tip for you on how to keep that Spanish moss from shedding and going all over your countertops.
a great way to cozy up the space and to break up those harsh linear lines is to add some faux greenery or real greenery if you have it in your yard to cut it. I am highly allergic to all kinds of pine, cedar, evergreen, so faux foliage is always the way that I go. They make some really good looking, real feel, realistic stems now so that you don't have that plasticky look to your Christmas decor. Spanish moss can shed and go everywhere, so I had a florist share the tip of using hairspray to lightly spray it down and pat it in, and it does the trick of holding it all together so little pieces don't come off every time you touch it. To decorate my dough bowl, I am using these antique to gold cowbells from Walmart. I initially thought I would cut them apart because I don't care for this jute rope on it. I was afraid that they would fall apart. The way they're made is kind of tricky. So I'm just going to camouflage that down underneath some greenery and pine cones and I add some fairy twinkle lights. It turned out perfect. It is low profile here on my bar and I can easily move it when my boys come home from college and are once again sitting in their places right here to eat for family meals. I can't wait for that. I am so excited. When I sit down to do my voiceovers, I always think I'm not going to talk your ear off, and then yet I end up talking your ear off. I am a stay-at-home, work-from-home wife and mom, so talking to you is a special treat for me. I appreciate you joining me for this Christmas Kitchen Decorate With Me. I have a passion and love for homemaking and decorating. I love to share it with you as my hobby. I hope you get a lot of inspiration and decorating ideas that you can use in your own home this Christmas season. If you enjoyed this video, I always appreciate when you hit that thumbs up. And don't be shy. Leave me a comment below. I love talking to y'all in the comments. I love hearing what y'all are up to and what you're doing in your homes to decorate for Christmas. So leave me a comment. It may take me a minute to get back to you, but I do read every comment and like to reply to everyone that I can. If you haven't already, I invite you to hit that subscribe bar, ring your notification bell, and come back for the next Christmas decorating video. I'm working my way around my home room by room and sharing it with you as I go. So until I see you in that next video, I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. I look forward to seeing you again real soon.